Hey, Mr. Kalizi, this is Frank from Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you can do yourself to bring in more business, uh, better utilizing your website and your online presence. All right, so I see that you service uh, the Tampa area uh, with electrical, AC, and plumbing services. And so I've done a quick Google search on electrician Tampa, Florida, and these are the search results that come up. So 90% of the people are never going to click past the first page. So you want to get up and onto as many of the sections of this page as possible if you are looking to grow your business in this area. So this top section here is known as the advertising section. So if you're not looking to pay Google advertising dollars, then you're going to want to focus your attention on getting into the second and third section of this page. Second section here is known as the Google Map Pack. And to get into this section is based on two things. First, you need to set up a Google business profile. I did, I did a uh, quick Google search on uh, on your company name here and, and I didn't see a profile come up so I'm assuming you don't have one set up with Google uh, so that's going to be critical to getting into the section you absolutely have to have it to be in the section it's free to set it up it doesn't take that long it's just a matter of uh, going on to uh, the Google business uh, googling Google business and setting up a profile and so to, uh, once you have that set up the next thing you want to do is make sure that your business is listed in more online directories than your competitors here are listed in. Google is a popularity contest and they're just going to look to see who is the most frequently mentioned electrician in the Tampa area and that's who they're going to put into this, this section here. So there's thousands of online directories out there, Yelp.com, Angie's List, Home Advisor, just to name a few, and many of them are free to join. It just takes time to go out to those sites and enter in your business name and address and you're going to want to do that exactly how you have it set up. Uh, in your Google business profile when you do set that up. Uh, you're going to want your Google to make sure that they see you as all as one business. So uh, in, inputting your information into the different online registries uh, is going to be critical as you do it consistently across the internet. All right, so uh, just I highly recommend doing that because 30 to 40 percent minimum of the traffic is going to go to the businesses listed in this section, which only consists of three to four businesses. All right, so then the next section down is known as the organic listings. And to be ranked high in this area, it's based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. So I want to compare your content and backlinks uh, to, to this small jobs electric, which is the number one ranked electric electrician site in Tampa. All right, so looking at your content here, as I scroll down, one thing I noticed before when I was doing so was that you have less than the number of uh, words per page that uh, is required for Google to view you as an authoritative site or an expert in the niche. Uh, so they are looking generally for 1,500 to 2,000 words uh, on your home page, and so you have about half of that, I would say. So one recommendation would be just to increase the amount of content you have on your site, but you don't want just to add any content. You want it to be rich in what's known as local buyer intent keyword phrases. Keyword phrases are the phrases that you want your business to be found for online by internet searchers. And since, since you are a service provider, you're going to want your keyword phrases to represent both the service that you provide and the location that you provide those services in. So I use this tool here called Arofs uh, to analyze different websites. And so here's your website here, homeserviceheroesflorida.com. And I can see here that you're currently ranking for 1,100 keywords. So when I click on those, I can see that um, most of these words are not local buyer intent keyword phrases because they don't reference the service and the location. Now I do get down to these two right here. These are local buyer intent keyword phrases and they are important because Google, it allows Google, if you have them in your content, it allows Google to match up your content to the to what's being searched and therefore they return your business uh, website in the search results. And so here you can see that these two terms are both uh, searched about 200 times per month. This is the number of searches per month that each keyword phrase is searched for. And this here shows the rent, your current ranking in the organic listing. So you're currently ranked 10th or at the bottom of the first uh, page of, this, of the search results. So let's just compare that quickly to your competitor here, uh, smalljobselectric.com, currently ranking for 200 or 2,700 keywords. And when you click into it, you can see the keyword phrases that they are ranking for are going to be more local buyer intent keyword phrases. So you can see like these first three here, just these alone, electrician Tampa, Tampa, electricians, electrical company Tampa. They built into their content all the different variations for how somebody might search for an electrician in Tampa. And you can see the amount of searches per month, 700 for this one, 1100 for this one, 2200 for this one. 
the ranking in the top five for each of those three. And you can see that they do it for different uh, cities that they service. And I'm sure if you scroll down, you can see that they're uh, different uh, services as well. Uh, or maybe they only provide electrical services, but you can see that they have it in St. Petersburg, uh, Tampa, and so Clearwater down here, you can see. Uh, and so the more the more of the different types of services and locations that you build into your content, in, as build them in as keyword phrases, uh, then they the more likely you're going to show up and the more you're going to be able to participate in all of this traffic that is being searched per month. Uh, so that you can just imagine what that would do to your to your revenue and your bottom line. So adding content to your site, making sure the local buyer intent keyword phrases are built in. And then the last piece of the puzzle is your backlinks profile. So backlinks are just links from other websites over to your website. And they give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as, as endorsements of your site by those other sites. And so you want to, again, with Google being a popularity contest, you want to have more backlinks from more unique referring domains than your competitors have. And so I can see here just comparing quantity right now, you have 445 backlinks from 164 unique referring domains. And they have 1,000 backlinks from 137 unique referring domains. Uh, it's not just, in this case, the amount of or quantity of backlinks that you have, but you also want to beat them in quality which I think you are because they have a DR score of 4.8 and a UR score of 10. These are the trust scores and the strength scores that Google assigns to every website. You want your backlinks to be coming from other trusted sites. Some sites are spammy, some are more authoritative, so you're going to want to be linked to the sites with the high DR scores. A good site has a DR score of 30 to 40. So you can see theirs is 4.8 and yours is 18. So while they beat you in the number of backlinks, they're not beating even the quality of the backlinks. And so one thing you can do is you can go out to uh, their site and you can click on their unique referring domains and you can see exactly what sites they're linked to. Many of them are going to be online directories, some blog posts, and you can register with those directories, for example, uh, so that those uh, directories are also pointed back at your site. And you would want to do that for the ones with the higher DR scores. Okay, so that's how you would be. That's how you would uh, continue to grow your backlinks profile, which backlinks provide power to your site and, and boost your ranking. Uh, so that's you want to continue to add backlinks from in different unique referring domains because your competitors are also going to do the same thing month after month. So I hope that information was helpful to show you how you can uh, beat out uh, Small Jobs Electric in the organic rankings and get into this map pack, which is definitely going to grow your business if that's what you're looking to do. Any questions, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the email. If you wouldn't mind responding to my email to let me know if the information was helpful, that would be greatly appreciated so I can continue to add value to small businesses. Thanks, and I look forward to hearing from you.